Hello everyone and welcome back to Recall Gaming. As you can see, this is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. To which you can have a whole bunch of questions as to why the hell I'm playing this. This certainly hasn't been on the agenda, but... I just wanted to play through the level No Fighting in the War Room. I'm going to throw it on Veteran Difficulty just to show off. But I was just recently playing through one of my favourite PS1 games. Replaying it for like the, I don't know, like fifth or sixth time. And I couldn't help but notice some similarities to no fighting in the war room to the end of that game so i kind of just really had the idea to just play through this at various points in this video i'll do a, like a frame by frame you know cut side by side and you'll get to see some glimpses of that ps1 game but i'm also using this as an opportunity to just talk about the channel kind of an update without being an update per se but just something a bit different a bit random call of duty which is kind of our roots now along with uncharted so i feel like this was a good idea to do let's say we're doing veteran to show off just one quick thing to note, you'll notice there is no game music. I can't unfortunately do anything about that when I record this game. So you're just going to get the pure sounds of gunfire. Now, in similarity to the game I've just been playing, America's about to get nuked. Although, America's not getting nuked, is it? It's just a rocket going on the PS1. But, irregardless. No, it's regardless. No, not irregardless. But yeah, we all know this mission. And I say, I thought it'd be a good chance to do some new content. Now, the channel, of course, as I mentioned the other day, has been a little bit bare, uh, which has been a bit of a shame. But I've just found that I've been recording a lot of footage for some long-term projects that I've mentioned in the post recently. Just to get the big news out of the way, Uncharted 2 is coming. I'll be recording it very soon, and I can't wait to start sharing that brutal playthrough. It's going to be hell, but in the best possible way. And everybody's down for that, which is the main thing, isn't it? As I just, uh, how long have we got in this mission? You get like, interesting thing with this mission, people used to think the checkpoints were broken, but the checkpoints aren't broken, it's just, you need to move quick, because the game will never checkpoint you in a position where you can't complete the level. So, I've seen a lot of people over the years say, oh, checkpoints are broken, no fight for the war room. They're not broken, they're just purposely done so you don't get stuck. It's actually quite good, so you've got nine minutes. I think you've got less time. I think you have more of uh, you've got less time of veteran. I might be wrong actually, I'd have to double check that. But yeah, we gotta stop World War 3 from happening. Usual shtick in these kind of Hollywood knockoff things. I need to get through here as quick as I can. But yeah, as I say guys, the channel has been a bit slow with content. But I promise you I am I am not taking I'm not taking it easy, I'm just recording a lot of long term stuff. And it's just finding the time in between recording that stuff to obviously then get videos to put up on the channel quickly for you guys to enjoy and keep the channel active. I mean, as it stands, 73 subscribers is quite a significant number for myself. I'm really happy. We're pushing for that 75, so I didn't want to do a channel update, but I'm kind of using that this video as a channel update, but while doing something different that people can enjoy. And I know that Call of Duty is quite popular now on my channel, so it's an easy sort of go to. And I was just in the hunt for to play this level, and it's a hard one on veterans, so I get to show off some more of my epic skills, he says. Now, really annoying, because the game I've just been playing on PS1, I have the ability to just rewind any of my gameplay, so if I die, I don't have to suffer the consequences of death, essentially, but I'm going to have to get that out of my system and actually play this properly, which is going to become very annoying. Uh, this level gets damn hard. If you're ever thinking of doing this mission on Veteran, major word of advice, make sure you've got the M4 soap mod, keep it, because the level is really designed for you to use it. Particularly at the end when you're near the actual missile. Because you need that grenade launcher, along with flashbangs, that's where it gets really hard, and I'm going to have to use my favourite phrase and lock in when I play through that, because I can't just casually talk. This might have been the worst possible idea to do a video, <laughs> to try and communicate some stuff through, because it's hard as hell as this. It's not quite caught Uncharted Veteran though, uh, Uncharted Veteran, Uncharted Brutal, sorry. Although Crushing and crushing and Veteran do have some similarities, I would say. Uh, gotta move through here a little bit quicker. I could not die. I got him. Oh shit! What am I doing? Take it steady, I don't think I need to rush that much. It's getting to the stairway, getting to the stairway. This is the easy bit. This video of mine open that shit up, I might have to cut out some deaths. If it keeps getting too hard, I'll just lower the difficulty, because I'm not meaning to do some hardcore challenge here. I've just stuck it on Veteran, because I've done it before on Veteran. And once again, I'm trying to show off. Because I'm cool like that. 
There we go. I keep forgetting I've got bloody aim assist. Literally the most powerful tool in a console arsenal. If I could pick up the AK, please. There we go. No, I don't want the USP. It looks cool, but this isn't Metal Gear Solid. It is of no use to me. Just mash that L2. Oh, Christ. Mashing L2 is not the answer to success always. Right, let's, uh... There's a guy to my left, that's why. He's dead. Good, good to move. Oh, what? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> You're getting a little glimpse into that Uncharted Brutal. If I die again here, I'll lower difficulty because I'm not meaning this to be hard. I just want to play for the level. That's a good start. Missed the, missed the noob too. Don't use all the grenade launchers. We do need some. Confident I've got it this time. I just was a bit too, like, nonchalant. Like, I had the room all cleared and I decided to take it easy, and that's a complete rookie mistake. Star Wars Battlefront, by the way, guys, still going. Uh, not pausing it. I've just been. I actually had a major error. Like, I actually lost footage because my game crashed. And when your game crashes and I'm recording it on the PlayStation 5, it just loses the footage. I can't salvage it. It was really annoying because I finished the Galactic Conquest Revenge of the Sith mode. And I was really happy with it. Had some pretty good matches. Pretty easy as per. But then obviously I went and had to get myself killed. Uh, not killed, rather. I lost the footage. Let's say like that. I'm not quitting though. I'll just do another Galactic Conquest. Oh, I might replay the level. I just the problem was when I did it, I was like just not in the mood to replay because I had a really good few matches, and I'm sure involved in those moods where something like that happens, and you just think, I really don't want to replay this. I just did a really good job. I don't know why I'm going this way. I don't normally go this way for good reason. I don't even think this is the way. Fuck this! I'm getting out. I'm sure it's this way. I need to hurry. I say I ain't getting a checkpoint if I'm slow. Right, I'm hoping he's dead and Captain Price has done something. Oh, G36C, would that be useful? Right, stairs, give me a checkpoint. Checkpoint, right, I did it quick then. This is the checkpoint of hell. If there ever comes a time with this channel where we get to significant numbers, I will do this mission on the original COD 4 on Veteran and I'll show you how, how hard it is. Because this is a section I must have been stuck on for the first time as a kid for like, let's just say a long time. Like, I couldn't do this right now what I'm doing. You'll be dead on the original. It's such a stark difference in difficulty. Like, this is still hard, but it is not original COD 4 hard. I must have been on this. Ah! I must have been on this for like a good 45 minutes, just this one corridor alone. And each time learning something new and failing every time differently. Ready, he might charge me. No, I think kill him though. Hit markers help a massive, a massive amount. Whoa! But on this, diff on the remaster, they don't seem to shoot you from the other side. When you play this on the original COD 4, you are getting shot from both angles. Doesn't really happen here. I never once came here and dying straight away, and I was nearly crying. Like, I genuinely think I was in tears. Because it, you work so hard to get down here and just get slotted immediately. Uh, these will be Ruskies. Right. Please be scared of my grenade. Yes, very nice. Look at that. Right, should get a checkpoint now. There we go. I did that on first attempt, right? Yeah, do that on the original. Uh, that ain't happening. <laughs> I'm going to take them. This is the hard bit, though. This is still hard on the, uh... Nope, hello. I got stuck to it, man. That was weird. This is no easier or harder. And this is, like, the same difficulty as it was in the original, so it's very difficult. Let's say shoot him. I'm going to take his M2. I'm sure I need the shotgun. My memory is, like, saying take the shotgun. That might be a bad idea. Looking like a good idea at the minute. Now, the trick here... Jesus Christ, this is so hard. Got a flash one. A 
and sort of run the other off memory. I'm really going off memory here. Oh! Sorry, I just deafened you all. And there's no game music, you're not hearing this amazing soundtrack. So, apologies. I might add some ambient music. Oh, shit, it's over. They'll probably charge me here. Yeah, surprisingly not. But I do recommend playing this level on a hard, hard difficulty. Not necessarily veteran, because veteran is hellish. What a beautiful sight. The end of the world. Um, because you really will get to that last minute, and it makes this level feel a lot more epic than I think it does on sort of regular. I'd say I wouldn't like wholly recommend it, but it's it's not it's not a bad idea. If I get killed by some last stand goon. Have some C4. We've all wanted to do that on multiplayer a few times. Right, please. I'm not gonna die. Ah, it's panicking. Panicking in battle here. Oh no! No, why did he charge me? I was too passive then, and I missed that, that noob too. Yeah, this isn't as hard as it is on the original. I will be honest. Oh. I don't really rush either. I've got the time. Um, is he going to be really annoying and like not charge me? That was bad, bad timing. Oh fuck! Yeah, I say so much. I think the reason I don't get too frustrated. I think if this was a new Call of Duty, I would, but because it's so much worse on the original, you're kind of almost like quite happy that it's not as hard as it was on that. Because you really, unless you've played the original one on Veteran, you just you really can't explain it to anybody. It's a different kind of beast. That is almost unexplainable. Well done, my oh, fuck's sake. Well done. No, Fox, I was shooting anything but where he went and did up. Might just try the charge. I feel like I just got to charge this. But I'm sure you get shot in the back if you're not careful. So you've got to be a bit vigilant. Expecting somebody. There he is. Don't expect any epic nooks like this in a... Uh, Shot brutal, by the way. Yeah, getting shot in the back. Can't do that. You really can't. Unless you throw two flashbangs. Throw down one area, one corridor, and then the other. Maybe that is the, uh, the way. We'll try that. We've got the time to experiment. Right, let's pop some fool if he ever decides to show up. I guess he's not bothering this time. Throw a flashbang. Throw a flashbang. There we go. Oh, fuck's sake. I could just, literally a whole door. A whole door. If you shoot with a shotgun anywhere near, the pellets will inevitably hit someone. But even I can't master that. Supposed <laughs> easy strategy. <laughs> oh, go away. Right, get my health back. Shoot that fool. I think he's dead. Wait for a grenade to blow up, hopefully it doesn't kill me. I had a funny feeling it was just in range. What are we on? 13 minutes. Barely any time played. Easy stuff. We're only doing this one level anyway. Because I need to do some uh, editing afterwards. Right. Yes, yeah, I, I say I don't know what the reason is for this soundtrack not playing. But what I will say is it is annoying and why why are they throwing grenades like that? That is so annoying. Oh man, it's like I've got to wait for that grenade. Just getting my uncharted rage ready. I wish I was as good at this as I was on Brutal. A few jokes. Right, please do not throw a grenade at me. Please, I implore you. Go here. Oh, fucking hell, that was a bad idea. Right, up that. <laughs> I mean, I 
I don't have this down yet, but I'm just going to use flashbangs, right? Ah! Ah, panicking in battle again. There we go. I remember getting this far on the original again and dying and again wanting to cry. Because that is what this does to you because they are so much more aggressive on that COD 4 original than they are ever here. Oh, we nearly died then. We very nearly died. Like, they're still pretty hard. They're still pretty damn difficult, but it's a lot easier. There we go. Time is not stopping, and we get this pretty hardcore moment. We should have done that pretty quick. Yeah, we've got some point. But yeah, it, nothing was more heartbreaking on that original COD 4. It said points here, but you do a really hard bit on veteran and be like, "All right, give me a checkpoint," and it just won't come because you've taken far too long to get to the checkpoint moment. Oh man, that's PTSD. PTSD. But yeah, so if this channel ever becomes big enough, we'll do the 20 years of Call of Duty. And we'll do like the first 10 years, like the good Call of Duty, the ones you want to see. I just I need the recording equipment to be able to do the PS3 for that, but if you support the channel, as you amazing people have been doing, my recall gamers, then uh, that day will come. And I think you'll all enjoy it. But yeah, I've only got three minutes. I'm sure if you play this on regular, you're never getting to this, you know, lower time limit. Oh shit. Excuse me, I missed you. Allow me to uh, retort. There you go. That's all my new tubes wasted. Oh, their reaction times are just nowhere near what they are in the original. It, it, um, it does actually make me a little sad because it is so much harder. Uh, how long have we got? We've got two, we've got loads of time yet. Yeah. Uh, so you know you're doing well if you're getting regular checkpoints. That is a flashbang, isn't it? Right. No fighting in the war room. Well, there certainly is some fighting in this war room in a moment. Plant the C4. Do a dolphin dive to look cool. Here we go. Flashbang city. Yeah, once you get to this, it's a piece of uh, piece of piss, as they say. Uh, he does die though, because he's not that good. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get anything like this in a Call of Duty go for. I mean, that still hasn't been confirmed yet, but we could have some awesome moment taking down Scud missiles. That was a big part of the war. Well, we know it'd be Operation Desert Storm. It's like the most famous part of the war. I don't know why I'm hip firing, I'm just kind of going for it at the minute. No no tactics, just pure vibes and not hitting the target apparently. Look at that, easy. There's all the targets. Look at that, they're missing all blighty. That's what matters. Oh, they're hitting Paris. Ah, <laughs> Of course they are. Are they, are they hitting Paris? Of course, of course they are. <laughs> the British are secretly also sending one to Paris, probably. The lesson has the launch code. I'm triggering the missile's detonator now. NATO spy sats are tracking it. There it goes. Thank God, Gabe, you've done it. <sighs> I'm downloading the virus information now. I'm ready for pickup. Don't you know when we but most of it's landing in the ocean. Sir, check the security key. It's a can. It's taking off. So that's it. We stopped World War Three. That's the big news. Shoot Sakaev. Oh wait, it's not really that. <laughs> we just got to get out of here. And it's uh, mission complete. And the last mission is uh, another piece of piss. There's a lot of pieces of pisses. Oh, oh, they're friendly as shit. Which way am I going? Follow the what? Lead the way, Price. We Stay what, Pri Pri Price? Price could appear in Black, in Black Ops Cold War. 
because it would definitely been a comp the original one anyway because the original one would definitely have fought in there but I don't even know which cult Modern Warfare's canon now is it the new one I mean I'm, I hope it isn't but it will be no these reboots work because it had been totally feasible for the old Captain Price Lieutenant Price who would have been back then to have been in the Gulf War in 1991 in Desert Storm but with the new Modern Warfare series, you've got this fake combat in Urzakstan or whatever it's called. So that isn't going to work. But... Price cannot appear because he's got like half his leg blown off. Slight issue there. Which is a shame. All... Oh, that door just opened of its own accord then. Don't know who opened that one. It wasn't me. Because I can't open doors. Not the series for that. Whoa, get your stinking grenades out of here. This is not World of War Remastered yet. Which we would all love to see, by the way. Activision, if you're watching. Which I'm sure you are. But yeah, we all would love World of War Remastered. It would literally make us all happy. You can have this back, dickhead. Yeah. No effect. Whoa! Dodge. Job done. Look at that. Into the elevator we go. Get one of my favourite little animations here. Watch Griggs and Price. Because they're, they're expecting the elevator to open up this way and it's behind them. We're coming up the lift, stand by. You know, sir, I wouldn't mind getting a shot at the cave. Yeah, we'll get in line. Leave and find out first. Price's little turn there. I don't know why, just I really like that. I find it endearing. There is flawed that there's us human people. We also don't know which way the lift's going to go. There's some grenades out there. There's the levels over. Yeah, might as well go ham. And we're just going to hit fire because we all love Predator. And that, this is all they did when the Predator was there. Look at that. Easy. I don't know how they got the trucks out of there because that's a hell of a jam. <laughs> but yeah, that's all this video was. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a few quick updates in there along with me showing off on Veteran again because that's kind of just what I do, I guess. Uh, but don't worry, because right, Uncharted 2 Brutal will bring me right back down to Earth. And if I ever do Enemy this game, crisis. the original, Sounds on Veteran, bad. that will definitely bring me back down to Earth. Uh, game over. It is game over indeed. But I ain't doing that level, because I've already done it. If you want to see it, it's in the 20 years of Call of Duty. But I was using cheats, so it wasn't legit. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Essentially a recall file, but not being a recall file. Which, speaking of, enjoy that recall file. There is one coming Sunday morning again. I think you're going to really enjoy it. It's an old old school FPS. Not Call of Duty, not Medal of Honor. It's something a bit different that some of you may have played back in the day. It's from 2001. But yeah, look forward to the recall files this weekend. It'll be, it'll be brilliant. But I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. And I will see you next time. Whether that be Star Wars Battlefront, something different, a recall file. Or maybe, just maybe, it might be Uncharted 2 on Brutal.